This video is brought to you by Fox Blocks, the cleverest way to build a foundation. I'm excited today. I'm gonna be putting up the ICF blocks and get ready to get out of the ground. So the easiest way to build a foundation is with ICF blocks. ICF stands for insulated concrete form. So these ICFs that we're using are a Fox block. And so how they work is they come in these blocks and then corners and tees and whatever you want. But then you basically lay them on your footer and start stacking. And then you just keep stacking. You build the wall as you go. And then you go ahead and when you get it all done, there's some clips and some rebar that has to go in here. Then you go ahead and pour in concrete. So once you get it poured, then you got a uh, insulated wall that works uh, below grade. So these ICFs that we're using are a Fox block and they have a lot of good features to them. I like them that you're, they're universal. So some blocks you can't do this, but this one goes both ways. So you don't have to be exactly right. Your corners are the same way. You can flip them over. They have these webbings on here. These uh, these strips here, they're embedded plastic. And those are for screwing on like uh, drywall or whatever. If you may say you have something going on the outside. They're two and five eighths uh, foam on both sides. And you get a really well insulated wall out of the deal. The other thing that I like about them is when you pour them, I've used some blocks before that actually shrink. These ones have solid webbing from the top to the bottom, so you don't have any of the settling. So there's some benefits that, uh, that are really nice with these blocks, and I will say they're very easy to install. All in all, you get a great product at the end. Building these below grade walls out of Fox blocks is just so much easier than trying to build plywood forms and building it with concrete, and then you have to still go back and insulate that. So it's really worked out well. It's kind of an all-in-one solution. So for these tall walls, you're going to have to put some bracing on them. Set them up, anchor them in, and then when you go to head, and right when your wall's poured, you're done, then you can plumb that thing level and hold it while the concrete sets. Done deal. And it even has scaffolding here, which uh, is nice to walk on when you're pouring this with the pump truck. So I went ahead and foamed the bottom of these blocks. What that does is hold it down and so the concrete can't push it up. We're just putting these in today, these Simpson Strong Tie hold down straps. So they tie into the uh, concrete wall, they get cast into the concrete, and then they tie into the uh, wall above, and then there'll be some straps that tie in the rest of the building. We had a, a pump truck that we had to rent, and you basically fill these blocks up. Um, you start with like a four foot lift, all the way around and then you go do another four foot lift and then you do another four foot lift. What that does is it just gives a little bit of time for that first lift to set up a little bit so it can't have the downward pressure to, to blow out the blocks. Right off the bat when we got uh, started uh, pump mud for a little bit and then all of a sudden no mud. I wound up we had a plug in the hose but it's uh, you know you, you have to deal with that kind of stuff for once in a while. Abe went behind and vibrated the, the uh, concrete to remove any air pockets that were in the wall. Another uh, really nice feature when you do, when you do uh, ICF blocks is you, know, you always got your top plate to go on. Most people just throw their J bolts in and then they go put their top plates on later, but you know, why not do the, put the whole package in at once? So we put the seal seal on, the two by 12 and the anchor bolts and you just drop them in and they're already done. So when the concrete sets, you just tighten your bolts a little more and you're done. The ICF blocks are poured, um, you know, can't work on it for a day or two. So, man, I just grabbed the kids and, and the wife and tried to do something fun. So we thought we'd give you guys a little tour of the work that we've got up to this point. This is the frost wall we're talking about. And if you come over here, you can see, so this is finished grade right here. So as the frost goes down in the winter time, it cannot get below your footers and heave your building. Um, these are the Simpson Strong Ties. They're cast into the concrete and this keeps the house from lifting in a windstorm. This is a high wind area. You can see all these footers are just load bearing points for the timbers. Um, you know, you got electrical, you got water, you got sewer. Um, you got to put all those in the right spot. Since everything here is poured in concrete, it's not time to forget something. There's a couple of unique things about this foundation. As you can see, like here we had to strip the, um, the ICF form. 
and form it out uh, just to increase the size here so that a beam can come up here. See that little piece of uh, duct tape kind of uh, form? Well, that's a piece of foam in there. I haven't removed it yet. But there is a steel beam that goes in there. That's how you, you form it up so when you pour concrete, you can just pull it out and you have a beam pocket. We had to remove the foam there because obviously that's going to get built up with some, uh, some timber in there because those are big load points that come down from uh, the upstairs. We've got going on here, this is actually the back basement wall, this big wall in the back. That's pretty much done, which is really exciting. Next week we're hoping to get the slab poured, so hope to see you then. Thank you so much for watching.